and sisters in Christ. Today is the Friday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. Let us all welcome our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Paul Marquez of the Society of St. Paul. Entrance Antiphon. As for me, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We remember in this Mass the repose of the soul of Helena Z. Benitez, Nena Liboro Benitez, Lourdes Benitez, and Duel Benitez. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. We think of all sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. We intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, let God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary 
come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be year old male without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it the 14th day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall come, take some of its blood, and apply it to the door, two doorposts, and lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and chunks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins geared, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in the flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both in man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all of your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Let our response be, I will take the cup of salvation and call in the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious, is, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Respond. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Respond. I will take the cup of salvation and call the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick up the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, 
Seeing your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We join the whole church in celebrating the feast of uh, Mama Mary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel today. Carm, Carm means mountain, El means God. So Carmel means the mountain of God. It reminds us of that episode in the Old Testament when um, the prophets, the false prophets, uh, had uh, fought against the prophet of God, Elijah, on the mountain of, later on was called Carmel. Then the Karonam showdown between the true prophet of God uh, is, uh, and the false prophets, Elijah and the false prophets. And uh, the offering given by the false prophets did not burn, meaning it was not accepted by God. But the offering laid there by uh, Elijah was consumed by fire. And so they were all amazed and they realized the God of Elijah is the one true God. In our first reading, God the Father spoke to the people of Israel. And he was telling them about the future. How they will gain victory against the Egyptians and how this victory should be celebrated in the future. Down to the generations. This was all happening. This conversation between the people of Israel and God the Father at the time when the Egyptians were being killed, specifically the firstborn. God said, while I am killing the firstborn of the Egyptians, your enemies, you go to your houses, you form uh, groups, and then you have to um, you have to cook um, the, the food and eat them and eat them like you were a people in flight. You don't have to boil them, but uh, just uh, uh, burn them in fire and eat them right away. Aside from that meat, you will have to eat bitter herbs. In order to remind them of the bitter experience they had in Egypt. And they had to stand while eating, not seated down, but standing up, meaning they are on the alert to remind them of that uh, original experience when they were being pursued by their enemies, the Egyptians. And they had to hold the staff, to hold, so that to symbolize that they really have to go. They just have to eat first and then they have to go. That was the instruction given to them by God. A God who was very close to them. What does this mean? God took care of them. Even before He set them out to freedom. But aside from that, God was already inflicting the greatest calamity on the Egyptians. Imagine, firstborn male child mysteriously dying. If you could imagine the, 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 the loud cries of the mothers and the fathers 
to Lucy a dear child. A mother who carried the child for nine months. But that was part of the plagues because they hard, they, the Egyptians were hard-hearted. They did not listen to Moses, the messenger of God. But in terms, what does this mean to us? This is not a story only that belongs to a certain group of people who lived in the past. But this reading speaks to us. God continues to liberate us from our own Egypt. What is our Egypt? That place of unfreedom. Maybe that place of unfreedom can be guilt feelings or hurt feelings or anger towards another person or a group of people and forgiveness of yourself and forgiveness toward others. What is your Egypt? Remember that the Lord wants us to be liberated, to bring us out of Egypt towards desert before we reach promised land. Of course, he's not saying that we will have the shortcut from slavery to promised land. No, not yet. They will still stay in the wilderness. And there God will teach them a lot of things. How to obey. How to forget their past. And how to face a new beginning. This is also our story. In our spiritual journey, in our everyday life, this would always be our story. Life of darkness towards light. Life of bondage towards freedom. Life that is all towards the new life that God's offering us. We know that if the Old Testament people had been taught by God to eat in a very uh, agitated way, standing up, holding the staff, and, uh, hurriedly eating. In the New Testament, Jesus would ask his disciples to sit down. And this is the origin of our Mass, the Mass that we celebrate. Jesus taught his apostles to sit down, and he broke the bread and gave them the one, his own body and blood. And he asked us to do this in memory of you. For every time this is commemorated, God, as He promised, is present again with us. So in this Mass, let us remember that the true presence of our Lord is with us. He knew and He listened very well to our intentions as well as to the intentions that you are carrying in your heart and in your mind. And let us ask the Lord, most especially, for safety for the PWU community, the, the alumni, and the students, the current students, and that we may, that we may, we may all be protected against the scourge of COVID-19. And we will come out of this alive and safe. May the good Lord continue to bless us. We shall now proceed with the prayers of the faithful. We lift up to the Lord the intentions that He Himself has taught us to ask. For every petition, we shall pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for all workers, that God will protect their health as they continually put themselves at risk in service to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that they may experience God's healing power in the body, mind, and spirit, and be surrounded by the love and support of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us yearning for the sacrament of the Eucharist during this time, that God may bless our hunger with an ever-increasing devotion and love of Christ that compels us to share that love with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the PWU community, may we be inspired by Christ's example to be agents of love and service to those in need during this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Peace be us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands of me will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, Bread of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice, yours and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name and the peace of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, Mary conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, o holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, his gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of you. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Helena, Mena, Lourdes, and Noel, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Of mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
and blessed Joseph, her spouse, be the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Mm. Peace to all of you. Peace say in God. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, Jesus who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. The blessing of the Father and the Son. And may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended going the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much, and good afternoon to all of you. Happy weekend.